designer by the name of Carrie experiences a Christmas miracle when a happy accident happens during a film shooting in her town. The story begins at the Los Angeles Cinema of Arts, where the movie My Favorite Santa is being premiered. The producer, Caleb Turner, walks onto the stage and greets the public. He introduces the cast on the stage to answer some questions. First comes the writer and director, Jill Turner, then the leading actors, Mariah Marquez and Brad Baxter, come out. The crowd starts cheering, and Caleb tells them that they can ask their questions right away. A lady from the audience raises her hand first, and the light shines on her. A girl next to her tries to stop her from asking, but she asks anyway. Her question is about the costumes in the movie, and whether there's a story behind them. Caleb recognizes the woman immediately. It's Nancy Devine, the mother of the costume designer, Carrie Devine. Caleb says that the costume designer would have to answer that question, and points to Carrie in the audience. He asks her to come to the stage and answer the question. Carrie doesn't want it but gets to the stage as everyone pressures her onto it. She gets to the stage and starts answering the question. She says that her involvement in the movie is a happy accident. She says the shooting of the movie in Twelve Oaks of Colorado changed her and the town. We are taken back in time as Carrie explains the story to the audience. We see Carrie and her mother Nancy in retrofit, Carrie's store. She asks her mother to help her, but Nancy can't keep her excitement because of the movie shooting in their town. Carrie says that she can't stand the movie shooting. Her mother tells her that it is a big deal because Brad Baxter is starring in it and he is the king of Christmas movies. Nancy is surprised to find out that Carrie doesn't even know who he is and doesn't recognize any of his movies. She says that Carrie should be excited because a lot of new customers would be coming into the store because of the shooting. Carrie says that it won't be possible because she needs a miracle to change the situation she's in as she pulls out an eviction notice. She has 60 days to pay the rent or she'll have to close the store. Brad and Mariah arrive in the town and are amazed by its beauty. Brad, being as self-centered as he is, gets surprised when no fans gather around him. Mariah tells him that everyone must be at work or in school, and that he should lower his ego. Caleb greets Brad and introduces him to Mayor Dennis. Mayor Dennis thanks Brad for coming and shooting the movie in their town, as it will make the town more noticeable. Caleb suggests taking a picture. When they do, Brad isn't happy with it, so he makes the mayor take some more. Brad gets a phone call and excuses himself, he's on the phone with his assistant Lucy, but his phone shuts off. Carrie happens to be passing by him, and he stops her and asks for her phone. He calls his assistant and walks away from her. When he ends the call, he continues walking, but is stopped by Carrie yelling after him. She asks for her phone, and Brad gives it back, once he realizes that the phone isn't his. He apologizes, tells her that she has missed calls and texts, and leaves in a hurry. Carrie is at a loss for words, and can't believe the attitude of the guy. Carrie arrives at her home later in the night, and sees that her mother has decorated the house, despite it being November. She smiles at the actions of her mother, but is suddenly saddened once she realizes that she has to come up with something for the rent. Nancy suggests taking her savings and pulling her daughter out of rent. Carrie doesn't accept that and says that her father had left the money for Nancy and not her. She tells her mother that she has to find a way to solve her problems by herself and be independent. Later on in the night, Carrie searches for jobs as a fashion designer online, but shuts it all down as she thinks that it would be impossible for her. The next day comes, and Brad and Mariah come into Carrie's store. Carrie comes to assist them, but soon realizes the phone thief is in front of her. She greets him, and he remembers her, he claims that she hadn't forgotten him, because it must have been great for her to help a famous guy. Carrie is confused as to whom Brad is, and he gives her a hint as he winks at her. Carrie is even more confused, so his co-star jumps in, and introduces herself as Mariah. She tells Carrie that she loves the clothing in her store as she looks around. Carrie turns to Brad, and asks him whether he is the king of Christmas movies, and he gets excited as he thinks that Carrie does know him after all. She tells him that she doesn't, but her mother loves him and doesn't stop talking about him. He gets cocky and says that all the mothers love him. Their conversation is interrupted, as Mariah asks Carrie about a dress. She goes to her, and sees Mariah holding a new dress Carrie had designed. Carrie tells Mariah that she had designed the dresses, and Mariah starts complimenting her. She even gets Brad's attention, but he manages to talk about himself again, and mentions the time he had been a furniture designer. Mariah gets embarrassed and drags Brad out of the store, before promising to be back. They get out of the store, as Nancy comes through the back of the store. Carrie tells her that she had missed the stars in her store, and Nancy runs out in hopes of catching them. Caleb gets a phone call from the costume designer, and she tells him that she cancelled the fitting, because she has been offered better pay for another movie. He hangs up the calls and doesn't know what to do, as the first fitting is in two hours. Mariah overhears his conversation, and tells him that she has an idea. Caleb goes to Carrie's store, and asks her to sell him everything. After some time, Carrie's store is empty. Carrie hands him the bill, and he asks her to come on set, as she would know the best how to make the clothes fit. She doesn't want to at first, but she agrees when her mother pushes her to it. Carrie arrives on set, and is met with an assistant. She hands her a pile of files and tells her that she needs to read the script first to have the fitting. She leaves Carrie in the trailer, and Brad comes in to greet her. 
He asks her whether she's the new costume designer, and Carrie tells him that the position is temporary. Brad points to the script, and she tells him that she hasn't read the script yet. He decides to take the matter into his own hands, as he describes the scene to her. He says that the night is snowy, as he is trying to convince a woman that he is the one for her. She falls for him as they kiss, while the snow falls all around them. Carrie finds herself lost in his story, but he snaps her out of it by yelling. She snaps back to reality, and tells him that she will have a costume ready, and he tells her that he will be waiting in his trailer. Caleb sees his assistant and writer Jill. Jill is his ex-wife, and he and her talk through the assistant. He tells the assistant to tell Jill that she has to be at the lighting ceremony later in the day. She tells her assistant to tell him that she will be there, but not because he asked. They go back and forth while Carrie and Brad are in his trailer, trying on some clothes. She tries to get his fit right, and he asks her why she's so serious. She tells him that she has never worked on a set before, and he tells her that she should relax, because her work is amazing. Carrie looks at him, and tells him that she has an idea. She hands him a big puffy jacket. He rejects it at first, but she manages to convince him by saying that it would be funny to watch him kiss Mariah with a big belly. She leaves him alone and exits the trailer. Nancy is wandering around the set when Carrie walks to her. She asks her what she's doing there, and Nancy tells her that she has brought some sweaters for the set. Brad comes to them, and Carrie introduces Nancy to him. He gets surprised as he thinks that Nancy is Carrie's friend. His compliments sit well with Nancy as she tells him that she is a big fan. Caleb comes to them and starts complaining that there's no stylist available. He spots Nancy and asks whether she works for him, but Carrie jumps in and says that she is her mother. Caleb asks how the fitting had gone, and Brad says that it had gone really well. He suggests hiring Carrie. Carrie says that she can't do it, as she has to run the store, so Nancy pulls her to the side. She reminds her that she needs money at the moment, and tells her that it's a great opportunity. Carrie agrees and goes back to tell Caleb and Brad the good news. We are taken to the present, where a girl from the audience asks about the decision on the location of the shooting. Caleb decides to answer the question. After cracking some jokes, he says that he loves the town because of its beauty, charm, and traditions. The town has a lovely tradition, where they close the city center for their Christmas tree lighting ceremony. It takes us back to that ceremony, when the movie had been shot there. Brad and Mariah are given the honor of lighting the tree. The mayor introduces them to the stage to light the tree, and the crowd cheers as they do so. They light the tree and let out fake snow to get into the Christmas spirit. Carrie runs into Caleb one morning at the shoot, and he tells her that he loves the reindeer scarf she had put Brad in. Jill comes in and tells her that she needs to change the scarf. Caleb tells the assistant to tell Jill that he loves the scarf, so Jill asks the assistant to remind him that he had valued and trusted her opinion once. Caleb keeps quiet, so Jill leaves. He apologizes to Carrie for the inconvenience, and says that his relationship with Jill is a long story. Carrie walks around the set until she's met with Mariah. She tells her that she has saved the production, and Carrie can't believe it. Mariah tells her to have fun and enjoy all the goodies they bring to the set. Carrie looks in the distance, and sees Jill and Caleb fighting. Mariah notices and asks whether she's seen the Jill and Caleb comedy hour. Carrie says that Caleb had told her that it's a long story, but Brad jumps in and says that he can give her the short version. He says that they used to be a team and have made 20 movies in 10 years. Unfortunately, when they got their divorce, an old script of Jill's was put to work, and Caleb was the producer. They have been offered a deal, if they are to finish the movie My Favorite Santa, they will get a six-picture movie deal. The rest of the crew are surprised to see Jill and Caleb shake hands. The shooting starts, and Carrie's idea is put on screen. She goes to take off their jackets once the scene finishes, and Mariah tells her that she loves the idea. Nancy finds her way on set again, and shows up during lunch to check up on Carrie. Carrie asks her why she keeps showing up, and Nancy says that she wants to see how it's going. Nancy starts talking about the fake snow, and asks Carrie whether she knows what it's made out of. Brad jumps into the conversation, and answers her question before inviting her for lunch. Nancy goes to grab lunch, and Brad asks Carrie whether she hasn't seen any of his movies. She asks him why she cares about her opinion, and he says that he cares because she is cool and likable. Carrie falls into his trap, and says that she does like him. Her admission is enough for Brad to begin celebrating, since he now knows that everybody likes him. Later on in the night, Caleb knocks on Carrie's door. He gets inside and asks Carrie whether she would want to work for the set full-time. She isn't sure at first, but ends up agreeing. Before Carrie goes to bed, she writes a check to her landlord and clears all of her debts. She puts on one of Brad's movies and finds herself enjoying it. Caleb asks Jill about the idea of a cool-looking Santa. She says that it hadn't been planned, but they received a request from Dazzle to modernize Santa's outfit. We see Jill asking Carrie to switch it up, and even though Carrie is confused, she ends up making the perfect suit. She finishes the suit, and Brad tries it on, it's an amazing suit, and makes Brad a perfect Santa. Caleb isn't so sure, but after some consideration,
He says that he loves the new costume and values Jill's opinion. Carrie is left alone with Brad and tells him that she has watched one of his movies the night before. He gets surprised and asks about her opinion. She tries to play it cool but almost hits her head on a Christmas tree. After getting Dazzle's approval, Caleb comes to Carrie's trailer to congratulate her. Later that night, Nancy is surprised to see Carrie baking cookies while watching a Brad Baxter movie. Carrie says that she made her father's cookies, and Nancy says that she hasn't tried them since he passed away. Carrie regrets taking a trip and not being with her family, but Nancy tells her it's not her fault. While the mother and daughter are bonding over cookies, Brad and Mariah are having dinner. She asks whether he has feelings for Carrie because she sees the way he looks at her. He says that he has a rule not to have any romances on set, and Mariah tells him that rules are made to be broken. He proceeds to compliment Carrie a lot, and Mariah notices that. She tells him that she understands him, but he needs to take it one step at a time. Before going to bed, Carrie looks through her old stuff and comes across her college portfolio. Nancy walks in and says that she should have never let her quit after one semester. Carrie says that she felt like she didn't belong, but Nancy tells her that she was better than she had thought. In the press conference, Brad Baxter is asked about his favorite scene. When a scene involving Jill is brought up, Caleb walks out of the set quickly. He meets Jill later on, and she asks her assistant to ask him why he walked out of the set earlier. Caleb speaks to Jill and says that he remembered when she had written the line about having the right person by her side. Jill tries to make him feel better by saying that the line had been written a long time ago, but Caleb tells her that she had written it about their marriage. Jill tries to deny it, but realizes that he is right. When both of them notice that the assistant's gone, Caleb steps closer to Jill. Before he can make a move, she tells him that she has to go and prep for the next day. Back in the past, Carrie is decorating her living room. Nancy walks in and says the room is beautiful. She tells Carrie that she is so happy for her and her working on the movie. She is also excited about Carrie hanging out with Brad. She tells Nancy that they are in different worlds, but Nancy asks her to start believing that everything's possible. Carrie goes to her room to design some more pieces, and her mother's words motivate her to look through some jobs online. The next morning, Brad receives a call in his trailer. It is about a movie that will be shot in London, and they want him to play the lead role in it. He hangs up the call saying that he will think about it, and heads out of his trailer. He sees Carrie and asks her whether she's going home, and she says yes. He asks her what she's doing on the weekend, and Carrie says that she will be making fried chicken with her mother. Brad takes the opportunity and says that he rarely eats home-cooked meals because of his work. Carrie falls into his trap and invites him to dinner, and he enthusiastically says yes. The weekend comes, and Brad can be seen knocking on Carrie's door. She opens it and sees him with gifts in his hands. He says that he didn't know what to get them, so he got them everything. They finish dinner, and Brad compliments Nancy's cooking. She thanks him, but Carrie says that he should see her Christmas cooking. Nancy laughs and admits that she goes over the top, because she loves Christmas. Brad says that he watches Wonderful Life every Christmas morning, as it reminds him of his father. Nancy suggests he do a remake, and Brad says that he doesn't want to be set up for failure again. He looks at Carrie, and she gives him a look. He says that the story is for another time. They move to the piano, and Brad plays it while they all sing Christmas songs. Nancy says that it's nice to hear the piano, as her late husband is the only one who played it. She says that Carrie has been her rock since he passed away, and Carrie says that he was a sweet, kind, and caring man. Nancy asks Brad about his parents, and he says that they're amazing. He says that they are ridiculously in love after 40 years of marriage, and hopes to have that one day. Nancy asks him whether he has ever been close to having what his parents have. He admits thinking that he has, but now knows that he hasn't. Carrie walks Brad to the door, and he thanks her and her mother for the dinner. Carrie tells him that it has been nice getting to know the real Brad, more than the showbiz Brad. He smiles and wishes her goodnight before heading into his car. Carrie goes inside, and applies to be an assistant designer in New York. Back in the press conference, a juicy question makes everyone feel targeted. Everyone keeps quiet, so Brad chimes in. He says that romance isn't present on movie sets. However, he hands Carrie an envelope in which he asks her to dinner. Carrie smiles at his goofiness and says yes. Their dinner takes place on set, where Brad had arranged a beautiful winter dinner, with snow falling outside the window. The waiter brings them pizza from New York, and Carrie gets excited. They dig in, and Carrie asks him whether he had always wanted to be an actor. Brad says that he had gone with his friend to an audition and his friend didn't get the part, they picked Brad, even though he was just sitting there. He didn't know what he was doing, because he never planned on being an actor. Carrie laughs and asks him about the low point he had mentioned at her house. She tells him that he doesn't have to talk about it if he doesn't want to, but he answers her question. He says that he had been offered a part in an indie movie, but turned it down, because he had been offered more money on a different project. He admits the money had tricked him, and the indie movie had gone on to become a huge hit. He wonders sometimes what would have happened if he accepted the role, and Carrie says that she understands him completely. She tells that she used to study fashion in New York, but she dropped out because she didn't feel like she fit in. She says that in life you sometimes have to climb the mountain, spread your wings, and take a leap. Brad tells her that he had been offered a role in a new indie movie, Ryan's Game. Carrie asks him if he'll take it. 
He says that he likes it but isn't sure of the risk. Carrie tells him that he should do it and take the risk. He listens to her words and invites her to dance. They start dancing, and Brad kisses Carrie while the song plays on. Jill and Mireille go out to have dinner as well. They stumble across Caleb, and he invites them to sit next to him. Jill sits down, and Mariah excuses herself, saying that she has to take a call. Caleb offers Jill a fry, as he knows that it's her favorite. Jill tells him that the line had made her think, and she admits that she enjoyed being married to him. Caleb admits that they have let a lot of stupid things get in the way of their marriage, and Jill apologizes to him, he apologizes to her as well. Mariah comes back and notices that Jill and Caleb are getting along. Carrie and Brad take a walk around town after dinner. Carrie says that she loves the decorations, and Brad tells her that it's all part of the fantasy. She asks him whether he's part of it, and he says that he is just an actor. If he can make people happy, then he is happy as well. Carrie jokes and throws a snowball in Brad's face, but she realizes that the snow is fake and doesn't melt. Brad laughs at her attempt. He tells her that she can still make snow angels, and lies in the pile of snow. He asks Carrie to help him out of it, but ends up pulling her into the pile with him. Carrie gets a call the next morning, and runs to the store to tell her mother. She tells her that she had applied to a fashion agency, and they want to do an interview with her soon. Nancy hugs her, and says that she supports her no matter what decision she makes. They start shooting the next scene, and Mariah finds herself not being able to deliver the lines the way she wants to. Brad asks Carrie for her advice, and she tells them that it reminds her of her father. She didn't know that she won't ever see him again. Mariah's character knows, and she should realize that. Mariah does the scene, and Carrie's words help her complete it. Brad and Carrie take a walk around the set at night, and Brad thanks her for sharing the story about her father with them. He asks her whether missing her father had put her off Christmas that year. She goes to answer his question, but Brad's phone rings. He takes it, and his assistant asks for his decision on the movie. He ends up saying yes to the role. He hangs up the call and sits next to Carrie. He tells her that the shooting will be in London, and asks her to come with him. He says that he will need a stylist. He trusts her, so he wants her there with him. She says that she appreciates the offer, but she has some news herself. She says that she has an interview the following day for a job position to be a designer. She tries to talk about London, but Brad cuts her off. He says that he wants her to go on that interview, and whatever happens, he will be in London with a job for her. Carrie does the interview the next morning, and comes out of it with positive news. She tells Nancy that the interview had gone better than what she had hoped for. We are brought to the present, and a fan asks what had been the craziest thing that happened on set. Caleb says that it was Santa's workshop scenes. We are taken back to the set days, where we see Caleb being told that the original location for the workshops is out of use. He gathers the teams and asks them for an idea, the shooting can't go on, if they don't find a replacement. Carrie offers to shoot in her store, and the crew heads there. They end up taking everything out of the store, and decorating it to look like a Santa's workshop. They shoot the scene, and Jill and Caleb congratulate each other. He thanks her for coming up with an idea for the chaos, and even hugs her for it. Brad tells Carrie that she is the real star of the movie, because she has done so much for it. He tells her that she is born to be a costume designer. Carrie receives an email from the agency, asking her how soon she can start. Brad sees a tabloid in the morning. It convinces him that Ryan's game will kill his career, so he cancels his role in it. Carrie finds out about it from Nancy, and goes to talk to him. She asks him if he had backed out of the movie, and he says that he wanted to tell her but couldn't find her. She says that she had backed down from her job in New York because of him. Brad starts apologizing, and Carrie says that he had completely forgotten about that. Carrie goes home and tells her mother. She regrets her decision, and realizes that Brad wasn't worth it. Nancy asks whether the position is open, and Carrie says that she would look like a fool if she were to ask for it again. Brad had made her think that she belonged in the movie industry, and feels stupid for it. Her mother encourages her to do what she wants, but Carrie says that she will go back to her store. They shoot the last scene the next morning, and everybody celebrates after Jill yells cut. The night of the party comes, and Brad approaches Carrie. He thanks her for her effort, and she says that it has been a wild ride. Caleb and Jill make a toast, they thank everyone for their work, and announce that they're back together. They have decided to give each other a second chance. Carrie looks at them in awe, and Brad turns to her and says that she might have overestimated him. She doesn't want to hear it anymore, so she leaves and wishes him a Merry Christmas. Nancy asks the crew what they have been up to since the shooting. Caleb says that he and Jill have wrapped shooting one of six movies that will come out. Jill says that they have finished shooting a sequel starring Mariah as the first female Santa. Brad says that he isn't a part of the sequel, because he was shooting Ryan's game. Nancy asks him what had changed his mind about taking the role. Referencing Carrie's words, he says that someone a lot wiser than him had told him to climb the mountain, spread his wings, and take a leap. Caleb asks Carrie what has she been up to, and she says that she had accepted his and Jill's offer to work as a costume designer in Los Angeles. Nancy congratulates her daughter at the after party. Carrie thanks her and says that she wouldn't be there if it wasn't for her. Nancy says that she has thousands of pictures on her phone, and Brad suggests another one. 
They take the photo, and he compliments both of them. Nancy leaves them alone, and Carrie asks Brad about London. He says that her words have inspired him to take the part, and she says that she wouldn't have worked on the sequel if it wasn't for him. Brad says that he isn't into after parties and tells her goodbye. She goes to leave, but he stops her by apologizing and admitting that he backed out of the role because of his image. He admits that he's never felt more real with anyone before and congratulates her on her success. As he walks away, he stops in his tracks, once he realizes that he's making a mistake. He comes back for her, and asks for a second chance, he kisses her, and they get lost in each other's embrace. They get out of the party and run away together.